Accidents are unexpected and sudden incidents that generally result in injury or damage. You may sometimes dash a person when rushing to school or may miss a step when getting into the school bus. Though sudden and unexpected, we must follow certain safety precautions to avoid accidents. Simple medical help or emergency treatment given to an accident victim before a doctor or an ambulance arrives is called first aid. First aid is very important because it provides immediate relief to the injured person and helps to calm him or her down. Prevents the person's condition from worsening if the injury is a little serious. Can be a life saviour till emergency medical help arrives. Common accidents and first aid measures. Cuts, bruises and wounds. First aid. Wash your hands immediately with soap and clean water. Wash the wound with clean water and an antiseptic liquid. Pat dry the wound with a piece of clean cloth or cotton gauze. Apply antiseptic cream on the wound. Cover the wound with a gauze piece and bandage it firmly. Sprain Sometimes, while playing or by accident, a muscle or a joint, such as the ankle or the wrist, can get twisted. The twisted joint, which swells up and is very painful, is called a sprain. First aid Rest the affected part immediately on a flat surface such as a table. Apply an ice pack. Put some ice cubes in a clean handkerchief or towel and apply it lightly to the injured area. Apply a medicinal ointment or gel for sprains after checking with an adult or doctor. Take care to not move the sprained part. Wrap an elastic bandage around the sprained joint to restrict movement. Fracture A fracture is a crack or break in a bone. This generally happens when the person crashes against something with a huge impact or falls from a height on a hard surface. People injured in vehicular mishaps such as road or rail accidents and air crashes almost always suffer from multiple fractures. First aid The patient is likely to be in severe pain. Calm the person down by having him sit in a relaxed and comfortable position. Use a stick as a splint, holding it under the fractured part to support it. Tie it lightly, yet in a secured manner to support the broken bone. Avoid any kind of movement. Call for an ambulance and rush the person to the hospital without delay. Nosebleed A nosebleed is loss of blood from the tissue lining the nose. Bleeding most often occurs in one nostril only. The patient needs medical attention as loss of blood might lead to other complications. First aid. Have the person sit down in a comfortable 
but upright position and lean forward slightly. Keep a clean cloth or handkerchief on the nose to prevent bleeding. Keep a wet cloth or an ice pack on the nose of the patient and have the patient breathe slowly through the mouth. Never pack the nostrils with gauze. Seek medical help at the earliest. Burns Burns are caused by fire or by accidentally touching any burning or hot object, boiling water or by hot steam. Burns are extremely painful injuries which is why a burns victim must be immediately rushed to the hospital unless the injury is minor. First aid In case of clothes having caught fire, cover the person with a blanket in order to put out fire. Have the person relaxed. Gently cover the burn with a clean cloth or sterile gauze to protect it from dust and germs. If a minor burn, apply an antiseptic lotion or cream to prevent infection. Do check with a doctor or an adult before doing so. If the person's clothes have also got burned in the accident, do not try to remove it. More importantly, do not break any blisters formed on the skin. Important instructions to be followed when dealing with burns. Do not use adhesive tape on the skin around the burn because this could damage the already affected tender tissue. Fires cause the most severe kind of injuries in the form of burns and often end up in death and destruction of property. As with all other accidents, it is very important to prevent fires too by following strict safety measures such as Children should not be allowed into the kitchen. Do not let children play with matches or firecrackers, especially in the absence of an adult. LPG gas cylinders must be checked regularly. In case of a gas leak, open all the doors and windows to let out the leaked gas and immediately get the cylinder repaired. Do not use the gas cylinder until it is repaired by the mechanic from the gas agency. Do not operate faulty electrical appliances. When there is a fire, first switch off the main electric connection and then work on extinguishing the fire. Switch off the gas stove when not in use. Do not leave the gas knob on in your absence. Extinguishing Fire Fires must be put out immediately, but it is very important to extinguish fires the right way. Use sand or water to extinguish fires caused by paper and wood. Throw sand over a fire caused by kerosene or petrol. Carbon dioxide foam is used to put off fire caused by LPG gas. Animals bite and rabies. Sometimes people get accidentally bitten by animals. Animal bites can be dangerous since there are many kinds of germs that live in the saliva of dogs cats and monkeys. Rabies is a deadly disease that spreads through animal bites 
and results in death. First aid. Wash the wound with soap and under running water to remove saliva. Ensure that you do not scrub since it may bruise the tender tissue. Apply an antiseptic lotion or cream. A person bitten by an animal must be rushed to the doctor so that he or she may be given an anti-rabies injection before its symptoms such as redness or pain and swelling of the wound or oncoming fever start getting expressed. We now know how to take care of and provide first aid to anyone in need. Remember to always call for an adult in case of any injury or accident.